y'all. Welcome back to Rolling the Bottom on YouTube. I'm your man, Zach Moyer. We have another topic and story to talk about today. JGR officially announces their full 2024 season schedule of drivers. I mean, they have they have hired like everyone, a whole lot of people, and uh, lots of uh, two full-time guys, two part-time cars, two full-time cars, the whole shebang. Uh, if we break it down, Sheldon Creed will be in the number 18. Uh, Chandler Smith will be in number 81. And Eric Amarillo and Jonathan Nienchek will be in the 20 car. They'll split that. And then in the 19 car, it'll be Ryan Truex, Sansa Wallach, Joe Graff Jr., Tanner Gray. I mean, oh, man, just so many drivers. Uh, so, many, so many cars, so many drivers to fill into those cars. The two full-time cars, Sheldon Creed and number 18, his crew chief will be Sam McCauley. Uh, when it comes to Sheldon Creed, I mean, going to be a great, best opportunity he's had, right? I believe one of his uh, Series XM interviews, he said during, at, at NASCAR, I think it was RCR Fan Day, he said he has his, his ride signed up, and it's going to be the best opportunity in front of the RCR building. Um, you know, he had a massive fallout with RCR in the end, but happily he's going to be, and to me, the best opportunity he's going to get in the number 18 car. Uh, it's going to be a big year for Sheldon Creed. He needs to, uh, to me, he has to win. I think he's going to have his best opportunity to win that winner race this year. Uh, he's going to be the best car he's ever been in. And I think it's going to be a great opportunity for him. So, also for him. And then also, Chandler Smith left calling racing. Won one race last year um, at Richmond, I believe. Uh, had a rough near the end of the season. Decided to leave. They parted ways with calling racing. Um, so, he has another, to me, better opportunity than he was at calling. Um uh, his crew chief will be Jeff Mendering. Uh, good crew, another good crew, crew chief. I know something about. I know I heard of him before. I'm not huge. I'm not as huge familiar with all the crew chiefs. I know I recognize names, but I don't know that their past, future, where they were, success wise. Uh, but both two guys, both these full, full, full time guys, are going to have massive opportunities to win a bunch of races, uh, win a championship. Um, so huge news. Then we go to the 20 car. Eric Hamarol and John Hunter Nuchek will be splitting that car. Part ways, uh, Eric Amarola's news was leaked, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a week ago, week and a half ago, at a commander's game when Joe Gibbs was introducing uh, some of the drivers to, I believe it was the owner of um, the commanders, I'm not exactly sure, but he kind of spooled spoo spoo the beans out and said that Eric was running driver for him, so people already knew about that, but it's officially announced. I'm happy for Eric Amarola again, get out of a great opportunity to win a lot of races, have fun. Uh, spend more time with family, um, so great for him. And then John Nienchek, it's nice that he's, he's still going to have that nice alliance and relationship with Joe Gibbs Racing to be able to run lots of races. Uh, he hasn't raced in the Cup Series for, um, I think once you race five years in the Cup Series, you can only race uh, like five races. I think, after three, I think it's after three full-time years. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But I know after a certain amount of seasons, you can only race I think five races in the Cup Series. So it's great for him to still get that extra truck time, seat time. It's always good. Tyler Allen will be the crew chief for them. And then and the 19 car will be a split of four different drivers. Uh, Taylor Gray, Joe Graff Jr., Sam Wallach, Ryan Truex. When it comes to Taylor Gray, I believe uh, Tricon Garage just signed a big deal um, with, with Tricon. Tricon Joe Gibbs just signed a deal. That's like a little alliance there. So that's probably why he got the opportunity to race here in Joe Gibbs. Uh, Going to be a great opportunity for Taylor Gray to to be able to get a bunch of experience uh, in Xfinity and trucks, because I think he's full time for Tricon and trucks, so that's going to be huge for him. Uh, Joe Gans Jr. I don't know much about him. He to me, I think he just has a big time. Uh, he has a big time sponsor, has some some big a big pocket to be able to get to that opportunity in, in Joe Gibbs' car. So I, I think he's more money. He hasn't really done much in the Xfinity series uh, to really, in my opinion, deserve the ride. But just because of NASCAR, you know, NASCAR teams need money. Um, they're not getting money from just regular old sponsors now, so they need that they need to get that money somewhere. And then Sans Gwalch is a Arkham Menards series driver. Uh I know he's he's pretty good. He's an up and coming talent. Uh this is gonna be a great opportunity for him to get experience in the in the Xfinity series in a top ride. I mean the probably the, the best ride you're gonna get in the Xfinity series. Um so huge for him. And then Ryan Truex, I'm a little disappointed not to see Ryan Truex get an opportunity full time, but look, sponsorship probably was the issue. Uh he didn't really get an opportunity no sponsor wanted to go full time with him. Uh, you know, he had that great win at Dover, uh, and that was a big week for the Truex family. 
but it looks like they just couldn't figure, figure something else out. Uh, Seth Shavak, if I'm saying his last name right, will be the crew chief. Also, one thing I'm a little surprised at is now we don't know if there's we don't know if this is the full driver count. Who knows? Ty Gibbs may run a couple of races too. He's he can still run certain he can still run X few series races, so we don't know if he'll do a couple of races. We don't know if Denny Hamlin will do the Darlington one off. But I am a little surprised that Trevor Bang, uh, I think he is more deserving than some of these guys on this list. I would just say Joe Gott Jr., if I'm gonna be honest. Um that I'm surprised that he didn't he can he didn't get an opportunity. It just seems like the sponsorship are just not, I guess, willing to give him an opportunity. Uh, it really stinks for Trevor Bay because I think he deserves it. I think he's he's a top talent, and still at his age, I still think he has a lot of potential to do stuff and win and compete. Uh, but it just sponsorship and just doesn't work out, and you don't have a ride, and that's just how it is sometimes. Uh, but great great opportunity for all these drivers. Excited to see uh, how it all unfolds. I think the toy car is going to be the best car out of the group, because you're going to have the two most experienced drivers driving it. Um, so I just think experience over experience over everything uh, is, to me, most important when it comes to understanding the car, the balances. I think they're going to be the most educated people on that. Uh, but yeah, big years, both big years for the full-time cars, and a uh, great opportunity for everyone driving a 19 car to get lots of experience. So yeah, that's it. That's a wrap for the JGR Breakdown. That's a lot to digest and talk about, so hopefully you guys could understand it all. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, like, and subscribe. Got a lot more stuff to talk about, so looking forward to, to jumping in right into it. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs>